Do you struggle to find the time to cut up everything you need to make a hearty vegetable soup? Well, let me show you how you can make this quick and easy vegetable soup without ever having to touch a sharp knife. Hello, welcome to Easy Healthy Tasty. We're all about helping you in the kitchen by showing you simple hacks that make cooking easier. My name's Charity and tonight we're going to be cooking a quick and easy veggie soup. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is turn the heat on on our stove with our saucepan and add about a tablespoon, not really very much, just a little tiny bit of oil. I've got olive oil, but any oil that you would normally use in your cooking is fine to use here. And to that, we're quickly going to add about half a cup of chopped frozen onion. And the reason we're adding it straight away is because if we add the frozen onion to the hot to oil once it's hot, um, it splutters about too much. So this is going to take a little bit to heat up, but we're also, while we're at it, we're also going to add at the same time this soup mix that I found at the supermarket yesterday. Um, now it was on special, so that's why I bought it, but it's got a whole heap of different things in it. You can see there's, un there's some onion in there as well, but there's carrot, there's kale, there's potato, there's corn, there's broccoli, there's all sorts of things in here. So we're going to open this up and we're going to add two packets of this to the onion as well. But I need to watch out because I've just noticed it's actually got some uh, macaroni in here. And I think I saw something else too. Yep, veggies going everywhere. Ooh, what's that? I think that might be like a stock powder or something. We're not going to use that one today because we've bought some um, other stock to add. But we'll dump in these veggies. Oops, hang on, forgot to take the things out. Okay, we'll give that a bit of a stir. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to use that powdered um, stock, but we will keep these macaroni because we'll add those with some pasta to our soup. Okay, now we're just going to cook this down for a couple of minutes. Let the onion uh, sweat off a bit, become a bit soft and release some of its sweetness. Okay, we'll pop the lid on and we'll leave that for a moment. Okay, let's have a look here. This is looking good. I don't know if you can see, there's starting to be some brown bits down the bottom of the pan. And don't worry, it's not burning just extra flavor and that'll come up off the bottom of the pan once we add the stock which we're going to add in a moment but before that we're going to add one can of four bean mix if you don't like four bean mix and you only like kidney beans or I don't know butter beans or something then by all means add whichever ones you like but I really like the mix of the four bean mix and we're going to add one little can of diced capsicum uh, now I haven't drained this because we can use the liquid for extra flavor. And we'll just give that a little stir. And we're also going to add about a cup of broccoli and cauliflower. Now I've got frozen broccoli and cauliflower florets here. Um, you can choose if you wanna use the frozen ones or the fresh ones, it's completely up to you. Actually, we might add two cups because that wasn't very much. That'll do. That little piece there. And now we're going to add some vegetable stock. You can add chicken stock instead if you would prefer. Um, but I thought I would just add vegetable stock tonight. We're going to add four cups. And now we'll give that a little stir. We're gonna bring this back up to the boil, then we'll turn it down to a simmer and we'll just let these vegetables cook until they're nice and soft. Um, actually, before we do that, we should also add the pasta that we saved from those um, from the soup, soup mix bags. So let's add those now. Mix those in. 
And now we'll bring it up to the boil, turn it down to a simmer and cook until the veggies are nice and soft. We'll be back once that's done. Okay, so this has been cooking for oh, probably 10 or 15 minutes now and the vegetables are all nice and soft. The last thing we need to add is about half a cup of frozen peas. So we'll put these in, give them a stir. And these just need to cook uh, really for one or two minutes. Probably by the time it comes back up to a boil, it will, they'll be ready. This soup would go really nicely with Jen's cheesy caraway scones. If you haven't already checked out that video, I'll link it up below. Um, so go and check that one out. Tonight, I've got instead some Kalamata olive sourdough that I picked up um, at the supermarket yesterday because I thought it just looked and smelled really nice. You can serve it with whatever you like, really. Normal bread is fine, toast is fine. Jen's cheesy caraway scones would be delicious. I think this Kalamata olive bread is gonna be delicious too. Uh, but we'll just give this one moment and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all ready. And dinner is ready. We've got this delicious, chunky, hearty, veggie packed soup and we didn't even have to touch a sharp knife. Uh, I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. I wonder what you're having. Let me know in the comments below and we will see you next time on Easy Healthy Tasty.